Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're sharing five reasons we wouldn't get another Aussie deal. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, this is Frankie. She's two, um, almost two and a half years old uh, in human years. Um, we've had her since the first day of quarantine back in 2020. This is kind of a like five cons of uh, owning an Aussie Doodle, five reasons that would prevent us possibly forget from getting another one. But personally, I would get another one. This is just a video um, because some people wanna see you know, not all of the happy and joy. They want to know like what could possibly like prevent someone from owning one of these dogs. So that's what we're sharing today. First reason that we may not get an Aussie Doodle again is the grooming. Um, I knew that having a poodle mix would be kind of high maintenance when it comes to grooming and it's gotten so much better, but the learning curve was really just such a long time. And I think it was because we like to, or I like to perfect things and so we wanted to just get it down and like have a perfect routine um and that's not always the case there's things that always come up so we have a good routine now she goes every four to six weeks to get a groom um and we i trim and groom her head um because they like cutting it shorter and we like it longer so we do the head and i just trim it like a half an inch every month or so and then they just groom like give her a bath and do all of the other things, nails and ears and um, things, and she gets a haircut like on her body. So that's how we have nail down grooming, but it is very high maintenance. She needs to be brushed almost every day. If she's longer, like this length, um, she's almost due another for another haircut, but um, she doesn't get as matted, but when she was a puppy and that tiny or that really fine, um, very soft, almost like, I don't know, like cottony um, puppy fur got so matted and it was just a mess uh, all the time. So um, it's easier now. Her hair is a little bit more coarse. She does have like a medium, like a wavy coat. Um, so just for reference, um, it's different for all dogs depending on how much of poodle they're mixed with, but um, it hasn't been like the greatest experience. So that's just one of the reasons and Frankie's out. Um, that we wouldn't get another one, another poodle mix in general. Oh, um, but number two is her exercise. She needs a lot of exercise, mental and physical. So she's an Australian um, shepherd mixed with a poodle. And so they need a lot of mental stimulation. They need to be busy and working. Um, and then poodles just need to be, they're just hyper. <laughs> so she runs around a lot. She needs to like get out her energy and something that has helped tremendously. Um, and really before this happened, I really wanted to get another puppy or another dog so that she would have someone to play with and while she's outside someone to run around with so it wouldn't have to be one of us um but our neighbors got a puppy and they are best friends it's a, another poodle mix a doodle and um so they get so much exercise together they're constantly running around and playing they play really well together um she's really does really has always done well with other dogs and so that's like just such a huge blessing because we have so many dogs and we have so many kids she does well around them too um so the exercise is kind of crazy and especially at first um like when they are not worn out and when they're not happy and taken care of in that way that's when they destruct and like do the naughty things inside the house so it's really important and it we knew that going into it and we're pretty active but um it's a lot so if i get another dog it might be a little less hyper more of a lazy dog next time. reason number three is the expenses so first of all the doodle mixes are expensive and we did not pay that much for her um she was less than a thousand dollars but i have seen them way more than that like up to forty five hundred dollars it's crazy and there are wait lists sometimes but we definitely will be joining like if we are ready to introduce or to get another dog um we'll be joining like doodle rehoming groups and things like that because um first of all there's a lot of dogs that need to be adopted and also just there's no reason to pay that much for a dog it's crazy um so very expensive especially when you get into like the fancier doodle breeds too okay reason number four is poodles have sensitive stomachs and so um, she can't eat all different kinds of food. Um, we've narrowed it down to really just basic, like a chicken or salmon blend. And she also eats raw food, but that was really hard to introduce at first um, because she is so sensitive. Um, so we had to start very small, but she's now eating about half and half um, raw and kibble. Um, but it has to be like a sensitive stomach formula of kibble. Um, but I think honestly that might just be the issue with kibble um, and it being like a processed different kind of food where the raw food is 
what they're like born to eat, I guess. And so that helps. And I hope that it will help with other issues too. Um, like sometimes she will get, um, like go through seasons where she'll pee like while she's sleeping. Um, and we really haven't figured it out, but we have narrowed it down to um, a specific brand of food that makes it um, a lot worse. Um, so again, switching maybe gradually over to 100% raw food might clear out all of that. But for now, we're kind of dealing with a couple of food sensitivities. Number five is that her ears are so sensitive. She's had uh, multiple ear infections because it, the hair grows inside of her ears. Um, they have the option to pluck the hair out at the groomer. She hates it and is very sensitive to that when she gets home, like shakes her head for days after that. So we've had kind of like a lose-lose um, situation with her ears. So she, if she goes swimming or is around any kind of water and gets any kind of moisture, um, yeast basically will build up um, and that results in an ear infection. And so her ears have to be cleaned. They're very high maintenance and that is really, um, that's probably been like the biggest or like most time consuming thing with her. Um, it's just kind of constant, but now that summer's over, we're not swimming as much anymore. I do think, um, it'll be better in the fall and winter, but man, if you're around the water, just like prepare to have problems. They do have drops, um, that I just discovered and I'm going to get them. Um, and I think it's just called after swim or something like that, where you can drop into after they have been um, near water and it kind of dries out the water or moisture in the ear. So the ear canals um, are not the best, not ideal with poodles. So if you can resonate with any of those things, um, let me know in the comments if you're just watching this because you're uh, researching um, Aussie doodles or just any kind of doodles. I hope that this helped you. Let me know if you have any further questions. I have tons of videos with Frankie um, and I try to just do like, we're not dog professionals or trainers or anything, but we try to share what's worked for us because um, I feel like community is just the best way to go about anything. And so we just want to share and um, possibly help. Um, and overall, I don't even remember if I said this in the beginning, but this is um, like a con video. So like negative things, possible potential negative things about owning an Aussie Doodle. We love Frankie so much and she is the best dog for our family, um, for kids, for to be around other dogs. She goes to the dog park. She does everything with us. Like she's the perfect fit for us. But everything isn't perfect and everything always isn't like butterflies and rainbows. And so we just want to share um, some of those negative things too. And I hope it's helpful. But I also don't want you to take it in like such a negative way that we like hate having an Aussie doodle. We love having her um, and I highly recommend getting one, especially if you have kids or families. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.